will now start to recognize uh, our colleagues in the order of their arrival. Uh, first, to, you'll be given 10 minutes each. You know? Ang mauna po ay si Senator Grace po, followed by Senator Manny Pacquiao, then Senator Bam, Senator Ontivero, Senator Pirlon, Senator Villanueva. Uh, save for the three of them, uh, the chair will will give each senator 10 minutes, pero kayo tatlo, pero sigurong medyo sobra ng konti, having, uh, or being the uh, principal sponsors and authors of privileged speeches and resolutions, Senate resolutions. So, with that, Senator Po, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Kay Mr. and Mrs. De Los Santos. At uh, excuse sa... me, Senator Po. Uh, Comsec, paki-administer lang yung oath to the uh, resource persons. Kindly stand up and uh, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the Senate inquiry? Thank you. Again, counting abalan lang, the chair recognizes the presence of the uh, chairman of CHR. Chito, let's go. Go ahead, Mr. Santo. Muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. At sa pamilya de los Santos at sa mga kaibigan ni Kian, pinapaabot po namin ang aming pakikiramay. Uh, bago po ako pumunta dito, Mr. Chair, may mga kausap po tayo, mga ordinaryong mamamayan. At sinabi ko, pupunta ako sa hearing tungkol dun sa nangyari sa bata. Meron ba kayong nais na malaman o matanong. Siyempre sila yung ating mga constituents. At alam mo, medyo nagulat ako doon sa sinagot at sinabi sa akin, di ba marami ng mga ibang kaso na may mga batang nad nadamay? Bakit parang masyadong nakatutok tayo dito? At yun nga po ang nais kong ipaabot ngayong araw na isang trahedya yung nangyari kay Kian. Subalit, tatlumput isang mga bata na rin ang nadamay dito sa laban natin um, mga wala namang kasalanan na nadamay lamang. Kaya nais din natin itanong siguro yung mga nangyari dun sa kaso nila ngunit bago tayo pumunta dun siguro matanong din natin muna ang mga nandun talaga sa operasyon na yan para masalaysay ninyo kung anong nangyari. Unang-una tatanungin ko nandito ba ang police officer na si Arnel Juarez, Police Officer 1, Jeremias Pereda, at Jerwin Cruz. Mga di umanong um, dumampot sa bata. Nandito ba sila? Siguro pwede ba natin marinig sa kanila, Mr. Chair, kung ano ba talaga ang kaganapan nung gabing yon para mas ma maintindihan natin. Nandito raw po sila, siguro. Are they present, uh, Chief Pente? Present ba sila? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, they are... Uh inside the holding room. Dahil pagpasok dito kayo na wala, wala, wala pangalan yung kuha nila, sir. Eh. Okay, can we, uh, uh, pamsek, pakitawag ko yung tatlo, tatlo ba yan? Tatlo, tatlo sila, tatlo pong nabang kasi. Pakitawag lang. And administer mo na rin yung oath sa nila. Siguro habang naghihintay tayo para hindi makapag-aksaya ng panahon, eh, matanong ko na rin yung iba. Um, yung unang-una siguro, alam nyo, uh, si Gerald Bato nabanggit ninyo na Siguro mas mabuti na magdagdag tayo ng baril sa ating mga pulis imbis na magkaroon ng body cam. Dahil kung may budget para dito, unahin natin yung baril. Subalit nga, yun na nakita natin, kaya nga nakatuon talaga yung atensyon natin dito kasi nagulat na lang tayo nakita natin, may visual. Diba? Um, matanong ko rin bakit ang report ng PAO, yung Public Attorney's Office, um, bakit naiiba dun sa autopsy report ng PNP. Pwede bang malaman sa PAO? Ano ba talaga? Kahit anong pasok ng balat uh, dyan sa batang yan, namatay pa rin, no? Pero siguro mas maintindihan natin ang circumstance nito. Ma'am, kung masasagot po ninyo, sabi kasi ng PAO, tatlo. Oo, oh, nandito ba yung Nandito po. Uh, the three doctors consisting our PAO forensics experts are here so, upon the request of yeah. the committee, Your Honors. We'll allow the doctor to respond to the uh, uh, question of Senator Paul. Thank you. Dr. Erwin Erfe, Dr. Angelo Ramos, and Dr. Alexis Sulit are here, Your Honors. Sige, pakitawag po. Nandiyan, puro wala sa lamesa yata yung mga resource natin. Na... Alam nyo, pwede kayong sumigit dyan sa ano? 
Kasi magkaiba, tama po ba, um, Attorney Acosta, na magkaiba po ang report ninyo doon sa PNP? Uh, sa tingin ko po, kulang yung sa PNP. Yung sa likod, eh isa lang naman katawan ang iniimbestigahan nila, eh, di ba? Bakit magkaiba? Um, Ito po yung picture ni Kia na makuha. Kita po kahit sa damit niya na may tama sa sa likod. May I suggest, Mr. Chairman, that we let the doctor respond to the questions because they're the ones who did the autopsy. Okay. The doctor is uh, recognized. The name of the doctor is? Uh, Dr. Erwin Erpe. Yes. Uh, Comsec. Uh, Administer the oath to Dr. Erpe. Para po sa kaalaman ng mga nakikinig. Dr. Dr. Erfe, paki-explica po sa amin sapagkat nakakalito po yung report. Yung soko po, iba po ang autopsy findings at iba rin po yung doon sa PAO. Pero iisa lang naman ang katawan na... Uh, na ina-examine ninyo. Pakisabi po kung ano po yung nakita ninyo. Uh, noong uh, magandang hapon po. Noong August 21 po ng umaga, nag-contact uh, po kami ng uh, forensic analysis of uh, gunshot wounds and other injuries on the body of uh, Excuse me. Kian uh, Lloyd. Excuse me for a while. Ano? Uh, Acting uh, PG, pwede bang mag-move kayo rito para yung tatlo dito na lang sa tabi ng uh, acting chief of police? Yung tatlo po naka, nakabarong. And then the, chief, the three policemen, dito kayo maupo sa tabi ng uh, mga kasamahan ninyo. Here, dito, dito. Okay, please proceed, Dr. Erpe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, before I start, I would like to give a... Thank you, Mr. President of Senator Mick Subiri and Senator Nancy Binay. Thank you. Please proceed. I would like to give um, a copy of uh, our preliminary forensic report to the committee. Um, I would uh, refer to this uh, from time to time. So, Dr. Erfe, please uh, just um, direct to the point. Which yes, findings do you have that will be crucial to the investigation? How many gunshot wounds were there? And is it a close-range firing or uh, a safe, I mean, a, a further distance away as claimed by the PNP? Uh, yes, Madam Senator. We found uh, three entry wounds, gunshot wounds, on the body of uh, Kian Lloyd. Specifically, we found one entry wound on the middle back area of a Kian. Second, we, there is a, uh, an entry wound on the, uh, at the back of the uh, left ear. And then there is a third entry wound located inside the left ear of Kian. Uh, as to the entry wound on the back of Kian as well as the entry wound on the uh, back of uh, the left ear of Kian both entered the body of Kian in an angled approach with an upward trajectory. Our conclusion is that these two entry wounds were shot by a single gunman. Now for the third gunshot wound which was uh, but which we found inside the left ear of uh, Kian, the trajectory and the entry is 85 degrees or almost perpendicular. Estimating the location of uh, the gunman based on our um, reconstruction of the criminal event, the gunman would have to be on the left side of the body of uh, Kian. So our conclusion is that it is possible that one or two gunmen are involved in this uh, shooting incident. Um, 
there were two uh, uh, exit wounds also on the right side of the head of Kian. Uh, this is the exit wounds caused by the uh, two um, bullets that entered from the left side of the head of uh, Kian. So all in all, we have uh, five gunshot wounds consisting of three entry wounds and two exit wounds. Close range po yon sa findings niyo yung iba? Um, Doon po sa entry wound on the left ear, inside the left ear, we uh, classify that as near contact. It is almost touching the uh, inside of the left ear. So it's very, very close, ma'am. Nako, if, um, hindi naman kaya suma, uh, mahirap ito para sa mga magulang pakinggan eh. Pero kung ganun kalapit at yun ang ginamit na barel, hindi ba masyadong baka sumabog din yung ulo? Kung sinasabi ninyo na ganun kalapit ang pagputo? Um, Ma'am, the, uh, the bullets uh, that entered the brain of, uh, or the head of uh, Kian exited on the right side of the uh, brain. Okay. Uh, perhaps we can also hear from the medical examiner of the PNP to see what their findings are. Ma'am, have, uh, have you taken your oath? Ma'am, na nanumpa na po kayo? Hindi pa po? Um, we need to administer your oath, ma'am.